So, you just finished getting your boxes for EX2. You got all the stuff you needed. You got all your Beelzemon stuff, right? In fact, you made the $300 Beelzemon deck. And you're ready to go to town and have fun. But then you show up and your opponent shows up with this deck. You know, your buddy, the person at Locals, Round 1, whatever. But they flip this card up and all of a sudden, fun's over. You lose, you get washed, and now you're bitter, right? And you're like, man, Mother D Reaper is broken. And, and she is for the most part. Her own effect is actually really busted. But the deck is beatable. And there's a lot of ways to fight this deck. And that's what this video is all about. Welcome back, everybody. This is the VTamer.exe. And today I'm bringing you this specific type of video. It's an informative video, specifically on how you fight the Mother D Reaper matchup. The reason why I wanted to make this is because I was watching a lot of matches on Discord and on YouTube and locals. And I feel like sometimes this matchup isn't being played correctly or perhaps not optimally, right? People are playing the matchup correctly, but there are probably some minor things they can change or tweak to turn the matchup into their favor. And so you could do that by playing specific cards or you could do it by playing a certain style. Whatever it is, uh, we need to all fold up and learn you know, how to play this because the more we play, or the more comfortable we are playing this matchup and the more we body this deck, the less people are going to play it, and then you're going to get it rotated out of your locals, your group of friends, whatever. We don't want to see this deck anymore, so let's learn how to fight it. For this video, um, I went ahead and kind of set up a bunch of cards here at the top. of uh, uh, Cards that either hard counter, stuff that soft counters, and just overall how you want to play this matchup. So, before we get started, let's just talk about what Mother D Reaper does and what this deck's all about. Okay? So, Mother Reaper, right... Has this effect which says this digimon can't attack and isn't affected by your opponent's effects this part is the one i want to stress here because this is the part that i feel like a lot of people need to understand you know that no matter what you do you can't do anything that affects this card specifically you can't strip sources you can't suspend it you can't blow it up you can't de digivolve it nada you can't do anything to this card she is completely unaffected by your opponent's effects, nothing you can do or nothing you do can affect this card. They can affect the other Reaper cards, but not her specifically. So keep that in mind. Then her effect is once per turn. If you don't have another Mother Reaper in play, you can place one of your searchers uh, anywhere from your hand or field to the bottom of the deck. Uh, this is the searcher here, and I'll go into that shortly. But keep that in mind. And then once per turn, when you would play a card with D Reaper in its traits, you can reduce its play cost by one for each of this card's a source, right? Sources, usually a bunch of searchers. So why is this trying to build up a bunch of searchers under, right? You stack a bunch of these cards under Mama to bring out Big Daddy here, right? And daddy -O is the win condition of the deck, which pretty much states when, you know, Okay, when you play this Digimon, you may trash seven or more Digivolution cards from the bottom of one of your D-Reapers, or Mother D-Reapers, to the reduce the Digimon's play cost to zero. Uh, this is actually a typo, and uh, it's an errata for sure, but it should say to set this Digimon's play cost to zero. So you can't stop this effect with, uh, with the purple Cyclone, right? And so when you, you, know, you, you play it out effectively for free by stripping seven of the searchers under mama and then once he comes out when attacking you may place two searchers from your trash under this digimon in order to unsuspend it right so the way it works is you know you put seven under mama over several turns or seven of these guys under mama bring this dude out and he just starts swinging for game right and during this matchup you know some of the other reapers are chipping away at your security so here's the thing in order to do this you know they need to get seven searchers generally it'll take seven turns for big mama to get seven of these dudes under her but there's a lot of other uh, reaper cards like jerry and bubbles and other stuff that would accelerate it so effectively you're playing against you're playing a final countdown kind of deck right that's what this match was all about you have a set amount of turns before you inevitably lose so that being said you know there's a lot of ways the most annoying thing about this matchup is the fact that Mother can't be affected by anything. So she's currently she's slowly building up these searchers, and you can't do 
or for the most part. You can't do anything to stop it. So you either want to, when you're playing this matchup, you either want to, you know, run through it, steamroll as fast as you can before she gets to seven, or find ways to inhibit, you know, inhibit Mother Reaper from either chipping away your security or gain advantage for the fact that a lot all the D Reaper cards either have no levels and they can't really uh, digivolve for the most part, at least for the, the Reaper cards in this deck. So, all right, so mother intro, so we get it. You know, mom gets seven of these guys, then dad comes out and starts whooping. So how do you fight this, right? We mentioned it, that mother can't be affected by any card effects, but the only currently known way to actually destroy this card is to attack it. But you can't attack unsuspended Digimon, but there are cards in the game that let you attack unsuspended Digimon. And the first one is Metal Greymon. Okay, this is how you fight Mother. If you're playing Black or Greymon, you want to play this card. Or even Red or Greymon. Because this card, you know, the first effect is good, but for the mat the Mother matchup, the relevant effect is the Inherited, which is where we, if you're a Dragon King or Machine, you can attack unsuspended Digimon. So your War Greymon and any other Dragon Kin, whatever you're playing that's a Dragon Kin or Machine, so includes Machine Dramon, can attack the Mother. And most of the time, when you attack this thing, that's effectively game. It's going to take forever for your opponent to send out another one of these and build it up with seven of the searchers. So the only, again, the only known way to be able to get rid of the mother, because again, you can't strip sources, you can't, you know, suspend it, you can't reduce DP, you can't Gaia force it, nothing. But you can attack it, but you can attack it, sorry about that. You can attack it if, you know, if you can attack and suspend a Digimon. So Metal Greymon lets you do that. Uh, so does Judgment of the Blade, which says one of your Digimon with Hackmon in its name or or Royal Knight in its type can attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon for the turn. Okay? This card was originally designed for Jessmon, because Jessmon is a Royal Knight. But he's not the only Royal Knight. He is one of 12 Royal Knights, right? So you can play this with Gallimon, because Gallimon's a Royal Knight. And if you go, and those are the two red Royal Knights, right? If you wanted to play with the other Royal Knights, which which is like uh, Lord Nightmon, Dynasmon, uh, Craniumon. Who else? There's so many of them. I can't think of them off the top of my head. Magnamon, Old Force Vidramon. These are all Royal Knights. There's twelve of them. Check them out. Google them. But you, if you can play a non, if you play a non-red Royal Knight, right? And if you want to attack Mother. You just got to splash in a red card, like Hyrule, or any other card, right? Because one thing to note is uh, while Metal Greymon and Judgment of the Blade allow, allow you to attack Mother, you also got to be strong enough to attack Mother. You got to hit at least 16,000, right? So, you know, you can play this with any of your Royal Knights. Again, uh, Leopardmon, I'm trying to think, Tentorismon. There's, like, why can't I remember them? Omnimon. There's just so many you can play this with, but if you can play this card in your deck, in a Royal Knight deck, use it, you can attack Mother and win that matchup free. So, Judge with the Blade, another card. Uh, Chaos Mon, right? This card's good if you're playing green or black, because Chaos Mon, you know, says here, when Digivolving, unsuspend, then it can attack your opponent's Digimon, but you can also attack unsuspended Digimon as well. So Chaos Mon can attack Mother right and so this is a card we haven't seen in for a minute but it's relevant now you can play it again if reaper is a relevant matchup in your in your locals and your group of friends and you're playing one of these two colors and green has an easy time buffing you know the dp stats black you probably have to play specific cards to get the dp boost but you can play you can do stuff like zubagon punch and uh and attack over mother and so again these three cards here are definitive answers, hard counters to Mother Reaper. If you resolve one of these in that matchup and you can attack into it, you win the game and you all, you go on to game two. So I'll keep that short and we'll move on to the next set of cards, right? The first of the next set of cards, I wanna say serve as soft counters to mothers, right? They don't answer mother, they don't get her, get her off the board immediately, but they do fight her the matchup pretty well. And the first one is gonna be this Chimera Mon. If you play this Chimera Mon, if you're playing Armor Rush or whatever, and if you have any dual color in the deck, uh, this Chimera Mon is really good. 
because you know when you play when Digivolve, you know, you place a source under it and then up to four of your opponent's Digimon gain minus a thousand DP for each color. So if you have a dual color in here, you're reducing up to four Digimon by three thousand DP. And in the mother matchup, right? I didn't list all the other cards, but this deck swarms and it swarms fast because mother's reducing the, the play cost of all the other Reapers. So it starts playing a bunch of stuff and it starts accelerating the number of searchers. They get a wide board pretty easily for very little memory. And so Chimera Mon on, on certain turns can wipe out like half the board if you can meet this condition, right? A lot of the Reaper cards have 3000 DP. So if you can get a dual color into this, even better. If you can't, 2000 DP is still good. You can wipe out a bunch of searchers, but optimally the Reaper player will not leave too many searchers out on board. They'll try to tuck them under mother as fast as they can. So Chimera Mon's an answer and dang, this thing's 12 bucks still, crazy. Okay, on to the next card. If you're playing blue, Soren Joe's a great card in the mother matchup, right? Mainly because at the start of your turn, if your opponent has a Digimon with no source, you gain two memory. A lot of times in the mother matchup, I, as I mentioned, they swarm a lot, but they swarm with a bunch of cards that cannot Digivolve. So they're going to have a bunch of naked Digimon on board, and you're able to gain a bunch of memory as a result. Soren Joe's one, so play this. And again, you can't use the effect to trash mother, you know, the suspending effect to trash sources off of mother, but the memory gain helps turn tempo into your favor and when you're playing this matchup if you're playing blue drop this card as soon as you can as soon as they flip this card in in their egg zone right this would be the turn one card you want to play next card is hexablau if you're playing blue hexablau is a great card against mother because when attacking you know the trash two sources from one of your bottom of your opponent's digimon that's cool but it's not relevant in that matchup but it gains jamming which means it's always attacking security without ever having to worry about dying which is kind of nice, but the real kicker is this here. Your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards can't attack or block. So this dude alone stops all the Reaper cards from attacking. So when you're playing against that, that matchup, the sooner you get this guy out, the easier, you know, you get to control that match. And, and these guys, you know, the whole Reaper engine can't ever attack. So Hex is a, uh, I would say, I wouldn't say it's a hard counter because it doesn't guarantee you the win. But it does help you in that matchup dramatically. And if you have like a Chris Pale Dramon or something under it that lets you swing for two securities, you're, you know, winning the game that much faster. So play Hexplow. Another card for the blue, the blue peeps out there is a Zulamon. But same reason for, you know, that makes Hexplow and Sora and Joe good is that in the Mother Reaper deck swarms. I, sorry, I keep doing that. But <laughs> the Mother Reaper match swarms relatively fast, right? And for each Reaper they have on there, a Zulamon gains a security check. So you can swing for a bunch of securities in one turn and attack for game. And the only card that would probably knock this dude out is the Reaper because it's at 15,000 DP. And most blue decks don't play a lot of DP boosting effects. So anyway, Zulamon, another good counter. Again, soft counter in the fact that it could hit Mother really hard for the most part. Because keep in mind, in that matchup, they're playing, you know, anywhere between, eight, you know, 15 to 20 of these searchers, right? I should have mentioned and read this effect, which says here you can include 50 copies of this card in your deck, right? When you play it, you know, you draw a card. So you're consistently finding the other searchers. This thing can attack, and it, its main function is to be tucked under the Mother Reaper. But, you know, sometimes they swarm with this card and a bunch of other cards. So... They have a bunch of uh, like naked Digimon out there that Zulamon could just take advantage of and then swing security really hard. And again, because most of the time, more often than not, you know, Mother Reaper plays like anywhere between 15 to 20 of these and their security isn't that great. So Zulamon, play it if you play blue. Next, I'm going, going to black. I can't even speak anymore. Speaking's hard. Uh, Mechanorimon. Mechanorimon's good for the same reason, you know, Zulamon's good. And or Hexplow actually, and that is to stop the D Reaper, Reaper deck from chipping away at your security. If you're playing black, consider playing one or two of these cards. I think this is one of the best blockers in the game. Like it's relevant for a long time, it's really good. And it's no exception here, it's good in this matchup. If you you know have Mechanorimon, or if you're playing, or if you're trying to prepare for Mother in your locals and you're playing a black deck, play Mechanorimon, play at least two, it's pretty good. 
Same with Izzy and Joe. Uh, Izzy and Joe is also good, again, because they swarm a lot. They have multiple bodies on board. You know, Mother is gonna be one body that's gonna be on board, and any other card on their field will proc the start of your turn gain to memory. So, same way with Sora and Joe. When you're playing that Mother matchup, you wanna like drop this guard, this card quickly. Because one thing about Mother, and I don't know why I don't do this at the beginning of the video, is when you give Reaper a lot of memory early on, they can't really take too much advantage of it. Sometimes they can, right? They actually have a really optimal hand. But a lot of times, you know, Mother is limited by the fact that she could only tuck under one searcher once per turn. So even if you give her a bunch of memory early game, she can't really do much aside from still tucking one searcher. And perhaps playing another Reaper card that tucks in another searcher. But for the rest of the game, you're able to take advantage of, you know, these effects that allow you to speed up your gameplay and perhaps get you close to your win con before they reach theirs. So, Izzy and Joe, uh, Sora and Joe, Joe Kaido in any of your decks, hella good. Play it if you're playing black. Final Zubagon Punch. Final Zubagon Punch is actually uh, a good card to play. Again, it's a soft counter because you know it gives one of your Digimon 3000 DP until the end of your opponent's turn. And then if that Digimon hits the 16k threshold, it becomes a blocker, gains security plus one, and has reboot. And the main relevant part of this card is the blocker. Because when, let's, you know, or it's good for a lot of reasons, right? If you could even do something nasty, like if you play this in Black War Greymon, you can make Black War Greymon hit 16,000. And then if it has this Metal Greymon, you could tack into Mother. But that's not the reason why I have it here. The reason why I have it here is because when Reaper comes down, most of the time Reaper comes down as soon as Mother hits the seven sources, and Reaper only has 15,000 DP. So if you can find a Zubagon Punch one of your Digimon to have 16,000, even 15,000, right? The Reaper can't attack with game. So it buys you an extra turn. So the turn, if you're playing this card in that matchup and you're not trying to attack it with like Metal Greymon or anything, you want to, or a war or a, a dragon king or a war game on that has a metal game on under it you want to play this card on the turn where they're about to drop reaper to buy you an extra turn and you can also chip away at their security with this plus one you know to get closer to your win condition then boost your guy to sixteen thousand. you know or your guy's already at sixteen thousand. you chip away at two securities and then your city on a sixteen thousand, you know k blocker because the 16k boost lasts until the end of your opponent's turn so just keep that, in, keep that in mind. If you're playing black, you're playing this card, you want to play either when you're about to go for game or to stop your opponent's Reaper from attacking your security. So this is going on punch. It's a good card. On to green, playing Shivamon. Shivamon's good, uh, obviously, because it trashes your opponent's security. And, you know, if you don't know, right, while all your opponent's Digimon are or while all your Digimon actually are suspended, your opponent can use option cards. Mother oftentimes like people like to pair with either black or yellow to be able to take advantage of cards like Iron Fisted Onslaught or uh Riven's Breath. And so and they, they do that to sort of slow you down so that they can get closer to their win condition. And Shivamon just says no to that, right? While it's suspended, your opponent can't play any of those options. Then on your turn, when this card becomes unsuspended, you trash your opponent's security stack. This is pretty good because the Reaper decks play a lot of annoying cards in security outside of their, you know, 15 Reapers or six, 15 Searchers. And so you play Shivamon, and Shivamon will, you know, if you set up two Shivamons in this matchup, you're pretty much just going to win game because they can't answer it efficiently. It trashes security. You could even attack with the Shivamon against security if you want to be a little risky. Attack with Shivamon, then if it lives, your opponent doesn't answer it, you unsuspend it, trash another card. It's pretty broke. And Shivamon's pretty good in that matchup. And then as as Ancient Beetlemon, Ancient Beetlemon is just kind of like a just a real quick matchup. And if you play this card, you already know why this card's really nasty. But you attack your opponent's Digimon and you trash security. If you have uh, JP under this card, usually the, the decks that play this card will have JP in it, and gains piercing. So Mother plays a lot of little bodies on board. You attack it, 
you know, turn it, you attack it with the ultimate hybrid. I think it's a Rhino Kabuterimon. I forget the name. Then turn it into this dude. You know, you trash a security and then piercing. So you're checking two securities in one turn, but you're trashing one of them. So if it's a good option, it won't matter. And you're ending the game in like two or three turns. Really insane card. And green, you know, high, green hybrid or any hybrid always is going to be relevant in the meta, no matter what format you're playing. So, Ancient Beetlemon, good. So, next card here is going to be for the color that perhaps has the hardest matchup against Mother, and that is purple, right? Purple is one of the few colors that is known for deleting Digimon based off of levels, right? Levels here. All the Reaper cards have no levels, so you can't pop this card with, you know, uh, you can't... You can't target it with any level targeting effect like Lucimon, uh, Fall Down Mode. You can't Beelzemon this card or these cards in general. None of them have levels. So you can't delete it with a card that targets based off of levels. And that's why Purple has a tougher time in this matchup. But again, not an impossible matchup. And, you know, even though they have a tougher time, they also have perhaps one of the best cards in the matchup in, in Psychmon, which says, you're, you know, players can't reduce play costs. Why does this matter? Because one of the ways Mother's wins, or Mother Reaper wins for the Reaper matchup, is she reduces all the play costs of all the other Reaper cards. So that's how they swarm very quickly, because she's oftentimes reducing one of the play costs of one of the Digimon to even zero sometimes, right? So they play a card for zero, and then they play another card for the actual play cost. And Psychmon will prevent that from happening. It slows down this matchup considerably, and they have very few outs to this card. You know, Pilates head is their only answer. And whatever and whatever option they're playing with whatever color they're splashing into the deck. So Psychmon is you you want to play two or four of these in your purple deck if you're expecting a lot of mothers in your you know locals. That being said, uh, because all the Reapers have no levels. Sora and Mimi is actually really good in that matchup because, you know, at the start of your turn and obviously, you know, a lot of these dual colored or these dual tamers are really good in this matchup because they all take advantage of, you know, the Reaper deck. And, and that is, if your opponent doesn't have a level four lower Digimon in play, gain two memory. Again, none of the Reaper cards have any levels. So when you play this card, you're automatically going to start at three memory for the rest of the game. The sooner you play this card, the faster you get close to your win con, and the faster you get to game. So, these are the only two cards I have for purple, but I'm sure there are other cards out there that are good in the matchup. I just haven't, you know, thoroughly investigated, but I will say Sora and Mimi is probably the, you know, and Psychmon are like the best counters to the mother for any purple deck. Next is yellow. Now, yellow overall, I wouldn't say has... A hard time fighting Reaper because you know the the Reaper cards can have their DP reduced and yellow is just you know the, the king of doing that or queen and they kind of control board very quickly they can't affect mother but they can control everything else but the weakness of yellow in the matchup is that yellow is really good at board controlling and you don't want to be board controlling too much against a deck that is trying to set up its win condition you know in this matchup, you want to finish it fast. And that's what yellow doesn't do too well, is that they don't finish games fast. They try to extend it in yellow hybrid or crusader mon or whatever. So cards like rise gray mon that give you plus one securities or allow you to sort of put more bodies on board, like in this angel woman, are good cards to play that matchup because angel mon allows you, you know, if you have three or less security, you can play a level three Digimon from your hand. And Rise Grey Mods is good because if you have three or more yellow tamers, then your Digimon gains security plus one. So both of these cards are good to just accelerate your win con. They do the other part right, or they do the other part very well, which is board controlling, but you also have to hit security pretty hard. If you don't hit security pretty hard, you give Mother more of an opportunity to get the seven searchers under it, and then Big Papa comes out, and you know, boom, game. The whooping starts. So 
Not much for yellow, right? Yellow already has a decent matchup. You just got to play aggressively. So sometimes you just start swinging with your 2,000 DP rookies like Pulse Mons or whatever. Just attack the you know the deck quickly and, and try to, you know, don't focus too much on controlling the board. Focus more on just hitting the security until you have game. And the last card I'm going to talk about is uh, Omnimon, X Antibody. Good for, you know... Uh, any deck that plays Omnimon or any blue and red deck. The reason why this card is decent in this matchup is because if you have Omnimon and if you have, you know, a bunch of sources under it, then in the same way Zubagon Punch kind of buys you a turn against Reaper, if you have this Omnimon out, then the Reaper, ha you know, has to have a bunch of searchers in their trash to be able to suspend a bunch of times to be able to swing for game. So... Omnimon's kind of good. It'll definitely save you a bunch of turns. And, you know, if they choose to drop the Reaper while Omnimon's out and they don't out the Omnimon, when Omnimon attacks, you know, it's when attacking effect lets you delete the Reaper. So just keep that in mind. And again, the reason why it's good in this matchup is because, you know, when your opponent Digimon attacks, you can trash two sources under Omnimon to end the attack. So Reaper will put two searches under it, swing. Omnimon will stop one of the attacks, and you're pretty much just, you know, holding on to these sources to stop the Reaper from going from game, right? So, that being said, I think that's it for this video. I don't know how long it is. I hope it's not too long. It's 26 minutes. I'm so sorry. This is way longer than I expected it to be. But, I hope this information has been a little helpful. Again, Mother Reaper will be played for a long time. It will always be relevant, at least until BT11. People are going to play it, and... Um, you know, you want to make sure that when they do play it, you're going to punish them with all these cards and make it so that they don't want to play that deck anymore. And, you know, and then they can play other fun stuff like Beelzebub. So that being said, that's the video. If you kind of like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. I'll keep trying to do more as soon as I can. I've been a little busy lately. But also, you know, for this video specifically, if there are any other cards I did not cover that you think is good in that matchup, Post in the comments below. I kind of want to know more because, you know, knowing it's half the battle. And, uh, and yeah, you know, I, I'm tired of seeing these Reaper deck being played, period. So let's try to get them out. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate you all. VTamer.exe signing out. Laters.